again, fellow RC enthusiasts. It's your host, Tom Cogswell from Spectrum RC and Horizon Hobby, here to give you a rundown on how to use and the benefits of the Spectrum S100 smart charger. So the S100 is probably our most cost-effective, but most powerful, you know, low cost, really great value charger that we have out today. It is a USB charger, so it has a USB-C input on the back here that can be connected to essentially any USB power supply. One thing about this charger that I think that a lot of people are kind of getting confused with is that it does not come with a power supply. And that's because much like your uh, cell phones and laptops and then things like that today, uh, they don't come with a power supply because eh, everybody's got some sort of USB power supply. USB power supplies range in a great number of different wattages and power outputs. And this one will increase its power the more that your power supply can deliver. And we'll go over that here in a minute. The S100, it's a pretty simple interface and it's just a three button interface. It's got the same kind of slider that people have been getting used to for the past couple of years with these. So it's got the IC3 port. And then if you slide it up, it's got an IC5 port there, which is really useful. I really love that kind of thing. It is a two to four S charger. It also charges lithium high voltage, nickel metal batteries, lithium ion, lithium ferrite or life packs and it can charge up to six amps, as you can see here. And like I said, the more power your power supply can deliver, the more powerful the charger is. It does come with a 65 watt capable USB-C to USB-C cable. If you wanna get the full 100 watts out of it, you may need to get a more powerful cable, or as we go over later, if you're using a, like a laptop power supply, it will be able to deliver that kind of power. So let's talk about power supplies. You could use a number of different power supplies. If you have like a power brick from a laptop like I have here, this is also a great option. You could use a small little USB power supply like a 20 watt brick that will power this. It'll be slower, but it is an option. You could get like a battery pack. This is actually a really cool idea that I like to use at, uh, at the park if I'm just flying some small foamies or, small, or I'm driving some small trucks. You just plug in your power supply, your battery pack, and you have a mobile little charging station. Really, really handy stuff. Another thing that I like to point out to people is that if you have a car with a USB port or a USB-C port, which is normally the more powerful of the ports, you can use that as a great on-the-go charging option for your S100 charger. This is just a great charger just to kind of have in your flight box or your, your pit box for when you need an extra charger or, oops, I forgot my charger at home, things like that. So let's take a look at just a regular everyday power supply. So this power supply has a USB-C output on it, plugs into the wall. I've got the, that plug unplugged right now, but it does plug into the wall. And this is a good, you know, roundabout up to 65 watt power supply. You can get power supplies like this that are 100 watts plus. And like I said, the higher the wattage, the better. But the specs you're gonna look at is the output. So this power supply, which I use for my laptops as a, just kind of a good, you know, a second laptop charger to have, it will do a very good job powering this USB-C input on the S100 charger. So really, power supply wise, there are a lot of options for you to use with your S100 charger. Now let's go over some of the functionality and how to use the interface of our S100. So this S100 charger, it is a smart charger. It will charge smart G1 and G2 batteries. It will also charge non-smart LiPo batteries uh, and smart nickel metal batteries. It is limited on nickel metal mode to only charging smart nickel metal batteries, mostly for safety reasons. So let's go ahead and plug it in and let's take a look at it. So like I was saying, you can use a power brick, which I really like doing for this charger because it's just an easy way to keep something on hand and at the field or at the track. Plug in the USB-C into it. And as soon as you plug it in, and you'll just have to keep an eye on this meter here, it'll tell us how much wattage this power supply is giving us. Let's see that again. You'll see the 60 will light up. It goes 20, 40, 60. So this power supply 
is giving my charger about 60 watts of power to output into my batteries. That's very handy. If it was more, it would be 80 or 100. Really cool stuff, I really like that. It's, it's just a good roundabout say, okay, yeah, this is a pretty decent power supply for my charger. So let's go through the interface. Pretty simple stuff, it's got battery type here, where if you tap that, it goes through the different four different battery types. You've got a charge rate here, goes through one, two, three, and six amps, and then you have a start button here. Ah, I hit start and there's no battery plugged in, so it's giving me a little warning LED, and then the middle light there corresponds to what the error is. If you check out the manual, you can see what error is what. It just knows that I don't have a battery plugged into it. So let's choose a battery to plug into it. So charging a smart G2 battery is about as easy as you get with this charger. If I just swipe my port up to the IC5 connector, plug in the IC5 lead all the way, give it a second, it'll automatically start charging this battery at its max amperage. You'll see the little lightning bolt will light up, meaning that it's going. Lightning bolt will start blinking every once in a while. And then the meter here will tell us the current charge capacity of the battery itself. So right now we're between 60 and 80%. And as it grows, it will get to the 100% and then you'll get the alarm saying that it's done. It'll just keep beeping at you until you unplug the battery or start the charge. If I wanted to change the charge rate, I can hit stop. I can change the charge rate to whatever charge rate I want and then hit start again. So that's about as simple as you get. That's with the Smart G2 battery. Let's charge a non-Smart battery. All right, let's charge this Onyx 2400 2S battery. I use this as a receiver pack in some of my power safe applications. If I need a smaller battery, I'll plug it into the, oh, so you just saw me, I swiped it down to the IC3 because it's backward compatible with EC3. So I'm gonna plug in my IC3 connector there. We're also gonna plug in our balance lead. And the balance lead, always get the negative all the way to the left there. It'll occupy those first three pins on a 2S. Gives us kind of the charge already uh, essentially the voltage level of the battery right now we can select our charge rate we can select our battery type we're going to go to lipo you see how it skips over nickel metal because it knows this is a lipo because i have the balance lead plugged in that's helpful and we'll hit start oh it's already done because the battery's pretty much full this is already charged up i charged it yesterday should be good to go so we can hit start. So you get, you saw that that green check mark went up when it was fully charged. That's helpful. No errors or anything. All right, so that's good to go. A couple of other things to mention about this charger is, you know, at the, you know, the, the price point that it's at, it doesn't have like a discharge or a storage feature on it. So it's, it's pretty basic in that regard. And it also, if you need to update it, you can plug it in through the USB-C port and then plug that into your computer and update the charger through the port there. So that makes it kind of a dual use USB-C port. So if you need to update the charger, it's simple enough to do that way. And that's pretty much it with the S100 USB-C input smart charger. Like I said, great charger just to have in your field box or your pit box for having on hand, just in case you need an extra charger or something, you know, while you're at the field and you don't really have a good power supply or power for an AC charger, anything. It's just a great cheap charger to have on hand. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more Spectrum tutorials and smart how-to videos. This is Tom signing off. See you at the field.